my baby. Get away from me, you're straight. It's Pride Month. What's going on, you guys? It's June, which means it's Pride Month. This video is for the gays, okay? So if you're hetero, you may be upset a row. Y'all finna jump me? Be honest. <laughs> What's going on you guys? My name is Cameron Noel. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about whatever it is I want to talk about. <laughs> if you'd like to follow me, you can follow me on Instagram. Dun, 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 dun. Or you can follow me on Twitter, or as I used to say, you know, the app where nobody is safe. There's no safe space. There's not. You know, there's not. There's not. The app is, the app is on fire. But... I enjoy the burn. <laughs> okay, so every June I try to do a pride video. Did I do a pride video last year? I don't remember. And knowing how inconsistent I am, I probably did. I should have. But we're doing a pride video this June. Because I'm going to try to get back into it. You know what I mean? We're not here to talk about how inconsistent I am. We can drag me in the comments, please. Drag me in the comments because I deserve it. Um... So this video we so this video we're here to talk about pride in general, but we're also here to talk about straight performers or just straight people at pride in general. And the reason I'm making this video is because of this video. Get out there and you know, I finish my first song and the explosions go off, bam, I'm like bam. And they're like, <laughs> all right, all right, all right, I'm like this. Are y'all trying to like saying, trying like, to maintain some stage. type of masculinity yeah. while look, I'm on this stage. You sissies don't turn up yeah. while I'm in here right now. I came to see y'all. Oh, and they said, yeah! <laughs> so I saw this video. This video is like weeks old, I think. But it, it sparked some interest and it sparked some conversation. I think it makes a very interesting conversation about Pride in general and like the presence of straight people and straight performers at Pride. And it also, this video also is like a prime example of why some queer people are hesitant about having straight performers at Pride in general. So first and foremost, Pride is a celebration. Corporate companies charge you overpriced rainbow merch for being you. Um, but so everybody there should be there for that reason. Obviously you can be there for other reasons because you want to get out, you like parades, you like dressing up, you like rainbows, maybe something medicinal or recreational is, you know, welcomed in your state and you just want to be out and about with people doing that activity. I'm not going to Fill in the blanks. You're adults, hopefully. So everybody there should be at Pride for the celebration. A celebration of queer people, queer experiences. You know, our queer ancestors fought for the right to exist. Stonewall riots, Marsha P. Johnson throwing the first brick. Hello. Now I'm going to talk about the tank video. And now I'm going to talk about all the things that are wrong with that video. Did I laugh at the video? Yes. Why? Because it was funny. But just because something is funny does not mean that it is not wrong. It does not mean that we cannot critique it. So before people, you know how you know how some people get to start doing the yip yip yap and the yap 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 yap. Yes, the video I laughed or chuckled or smiled or just it was absurd. It was absurd. You know, sometimes you just laugh at things that are, you know, morally wrong or questionable. So number one, Tank called people sissies. Um, he called gay men sissies. And I, I think the funniest thing about this video is I just know, like, in his mind, he felt like the biggest ally. Because he was he was kind of advocating, saying that, like, you know, straight performers are missing out on a bag, one, a bag. Yeah, pretty much. He said the straight performers are missing out by not performing at Pride. He also mentioned that, like, he's trying to get to the bag. So the issue with this is, one, he called gay men sissies. He didn't have to do that. He could have used other words. Um... And then he also mentioned about like the gay men who were watching his performance. I guess they were they weren't being as hype as he would have liked them to be, and that they were trying to put on some form of false masculinity, which then plays to the stereotype that all gay men or queer people are like inherently feminine. So that's a problem. But also talking about a bag, like he clearly admitted that like he's there for the money. Now before people jump down my throat, everybody does things for money, okay? Everybody does things for money. Everybody does gigs for coin. And you know what? If you're one of the lucky people who do the things that you love and you enjoy going to work, more power to you. I have a job that I enjoy. But the majority of people go on the job, they click, they, 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 they clock in for the coin, for the check, for the chomp. So I get it. Yes. But as a straight performer, yes, you should be performing for money, but you should also be performing at Pride because you accept queer people. You support queer people. You are an ally towards queer people. If you are doing it just for the money, it's kind of messed up. Because think about it. I mean, 
that just means that as a straight performer, you don't really care about the queer experience. You're not really an ally. You don't really care about pride or what pride means or what it stands for. You're just there for the money. And that is money that could have gone towards a queer performer. I think that's just really about when it comes to marginalized communities and marginalized communities have like, you know, certain celebrations like Black History Month, Juneteenth, um, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, you know, just things that are celebrations and holidays that are specific to a certain group. You have to mention, you have to remember that those groups should be centered at all times, you know? This is why a lot of people, queer people get upset when people say that the A in LGBTQIA plus stands for ally. It does not. It does not stand for ally because allies are not, they are allies, but they are not a part of the community, you know? They are there helping. They are advocates. They are not a part of the community unless they are or fall under the umbrella of queerness. So like that is that is the thing. That is a thing. Like openly admitting that you only go to Pride, you're only performing at Pride for the bag. It's not the flex. It's not the allyship that you think it is. It's a little problematic. It is very problematic. It is very problematic. Obviously, when I saw this video, did I think Tank was being malicious and purposely trying to like, you know, say, oh yeah, F queer people, I'm a, no, I don't think so. You know they're gonna people talk about some, oh, you know, the message versus the delivery. They know, girl, did you, yeah. I don't wanna hear that. We don't care, we don't care, we don't care. It doesn't matter because intent does not negate impact. And as a, as a queer person, am I upset? No. Once again, I don't represent the entire queer community. Like my opinion is not the end all be all. So I don't, I'm not that upset about it, but also, we can still call things out, you know? Pride is about the queer community and everybody who's there should be there in support of the queer community if they are not a part of the community, period. It was just so out of pocket, but it was just so clear that when you watch that video, like he felt like he, I know he felt like ally of the year. I just, I have a feeling he felt like ally of the year once he recorded that video in that interview. And he was trying to advocate like, hey y'all, if you're a straight performer and a straight artist, you are missing out on the bag by not performing at Pride. We shouldn't applaud a fish for swimming, you know? Like, you know, this grand revelation, oh, a straight man is comfortable, you know, performing at Pride. Like, you know, I mean, it's a great thing, but it's like, tolerance is kind of like a, a, a base, like, you should be able to tolerate all different types of people. So like, applauding a fish for swimming. But that video, the clip that I showed is not the entire clip, and I, I, I urge you, if you are interested or you're not familiar with it, go watch the full clip. Because go watch the full clip and then make an informed decision on your own, you know? I think that's the worst thing that you can do with social media. You can only watch like part of a clip or read part of a headline or part of an article, and then you're making an opinion on something that you do not have the full scope of. Because he did say that he wasn't, he doesn't care if people call him gay for performing at Pride because that's not the worst thing you can call because it's not, there's nothing wrong with being gay. So Tank did say some really great things. Although a little, although he, you know, listen, he, he got lost. He got a little lost, but he did get to a nice place towards the end. I think that's about it. I think that's about it. This is a pretty light video. I just want, you know, of course I had to do a pride video. I mean, it's pride. I might do more, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I might, I, I just might, you know, I make one video a month, I might. Let me know down in the comments below, what do you think? What are your opinions on this video? What are your opinions about straight performers at Pride? What is your opinion about how allies and people outside the community should move through Pride? Let me know your thoughts down below and we don't have to agree, but just be respectful of all people in the comment section. Be kind to one another, be kind to yourself. Now, that is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it sparked some thought provoking conversation and I hope you got your life. Once again, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media if you would like to. And I will see you in the next video. Do, 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 do. Boy, Tway named Troy. Used to live in Detroit. Big dope dealing money. He was getting some coins. Was the shootouts with the lure, but he lived in a palace.